a 3D printable marking gauge. This is how it goes together. If you see this block has got a slightly larger hole in one side than the other. What we do is we take uh, the beam and we insert it into the smaller side and then once we get it across it can move up. That should allow room for the beam to get in place. There we go, slides in and I can lock in any position. I can take this um, bushing and if you align it so that these little tabs at the side that are just there to give you something to pry or push on um, are aligned perpendicular to the beam that allow allow it to recess all the way. So in this version of it, I've got a I've got it this size to grip uh, a pencil. I've also done a version where it can grip a um, a hex screwdriver bit because you, you get worn out of bits. You can grind them down, put a sharp edge on them, and uh, let me see if I have that one. And yes, I do. There's the version where I use that uh, trick. So it's just got a cutter that then can uh, scribe a, a line. Rather than just a, a pencil mark, you end up with an actual uh, groove. And I did a third version, which I don't have at hand, but um, where this part is designed to hold a 9mm wide blade. And those are like uh, scalpel-style craft knife blades, or often that's the right size, or also just the, uh, the breakaway segments on uh, at least all the blades that I've got to hold. Uh, these segments, if you break off a segment that's 9 millimeters wide, it could be mounted in that as well. So the actual use of the gauge, to release it, you press on on this side. Now it's loose, you can move it to whatever direction or whatever width you want. And then let's say we were setting it to the width of the board or something like that, you'd set your reference uh, to wherever you want it, you press on this, and now it's locked the beam and it won't move. And, uh, and then you can mark your line, or I think my people prefer the pull motion for control, but I mean the pencil, you, it doesn't want to track and follow the grain nearly as badly as the blade style cutters do, so it um, makes it fairly straightforward. Anyway, and then release, one-handed operation, very convenient.